Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I've received a box of Happy Mail from Kiki K and I thought I would share this one with you since it may be the very last order that I ever receive from Kiki K considering that they're in administration. And whilst I hope that is not the case, you never know and you all know how much I love Kiki K so I thought I would very do a very quick unboxing and share with you what I got. Alright, now I think what I'll do is just move everything off to the side and we'll start with this first. So they had this gorgeous Valentine's Day pen on sale and it's got these gorgeous love hearts. There's a mixture of a pale pink, a brighter pink over here and then the red and I just thought it was so so pretty to use in a Valentine's Day planner spread so I've got that one. The next thing that I purchased was these cute metal retractable pens. It says it um, comes with black ink and I just thought that this lemon barrel and this gorgeous pink was just so pretty and it's got the rose gold hardware so I just had to try it. I've never had the retractable pens before from um, Kiki K. So I'm just going to grab my notepad here and I'm just going to give it a try. All right, so it writes beautifully. So, so nice. Absolutely no issues, no dragging at all, smooth as butter. So that is a gorgeous pen and I'm really, really glad that I purchased that. Now I was very lucky because my sister actually gave me a Kiki K voucher for Christmas and I was hanging on to it to use for the Christmas collection which normally comes out every year. But with them going into administration, they did have a note up on our uh, local Kiki K store in Adelaide stating that they could only guarantee gift cards until the 30th of September So I thought I'd better use it All right, so the next thing that I got was these cute number stickers and I actually use these a lot in my memory planning for writing the dates of events um, And the years so I needed another pack of those so that's that one there and then I purchased, and this is really big, I can probably hardly even fit it. So basically this is a family wall calendar. And I didn't want it for the family wall calendar because I think I only paid $2.49 for this. And what I wanted it for was the notepad and the pen that came with it. So there's this cute pen and it's got some rose coloured dots on there. They're not foiled but they are rose gold colour. And this cute little notepad. And I thought, well, for $2.50, if I don't use the calendar, I get this really cute notepad. And from memory, that was from one of the cute collections. But for the life of me, I can't remember which one. I'm just having a look on the sticker if it says. No, it doesn't say. Oh, that's all right. Okay, and then the next thing that I got was some books. So I'll just move the pens out of the way. I have already got one of these books. I've got the dream book and there was another three books in the collection. There was do, enjoy and share and I've really enjoyed the dream book and so I had been waiting till they were on sale to purchase the others in the collection because it was the dream do enjoy share collection and these were reduced down from $40 down to 15 I think from memory that I got them for. Um, so I really like these books because not only is it a book that you can read, but it did have areas in there that you could write. So for example, as you can see here, this one here says, what does success not mean to you? And it has um, more details about the question and it just makes you think about different aspects of your life and your dreams and what you want to do and all those sorts of things. So I thought it would be really fun to read the other three books in the collection. So that's those. And then lastly, we have a planner. It has been so long, let me tell you, so long since I have bought a planner from Kiki K. And I was umming and ahhing about this one because, oh, I don't know. But 
when I checked it out a bit more and I had a look on Instagram at some people that already had it and I saw that it had these gorgeous rose gold pictures on the front I just thought you know what I really want to purchase this one and this and the pens is what I used the gift card to buy. So it's really nice because whenever I use this planner and these pens, I'll know that my sister bought these for me. And that has extra special meaning for me um, because she shares my love of stationery and she knows how passionate I am about stationery. And every time I see this planner and use this planner, I'm going to think of her. So that is such a beautiful thing to me. It has really special, you know, memories. All right, so this is the Malala Fund, and I don't know if you know too much about it because I don't know a lot about it, but from what I read on Kiki K's website, and what it says here is it is a product collaboration with Kiki K and the Malala Fund, and Kiki K will donate US dollars, $100,000 to the Malala Fund for each year of the partnership. So I'm guessing that this is part of the collaboration. All right, now this planner was on sale. It was originally $90, and I can't remember what I paid, but I think it was around 30 something, 35 maybe. All right, so opening it up, and I'll just try and get it as much as possible in the view for you. There you go. So as always, we get this little note here that says, I'm unique. Your Kiki K planner is handmade, so no two planners are the same. So we'll pop that back there. We've got two little pockets here, which I love filling with die cuts and cute little paper clips. So we've got those two there. Then we've got the bigger one here. And, you know, you can easily slide a notepad in there. I'm just going to see whether this one will fit, but it won't, of course. I have got lots and lots that do fit. This one is going to fit. There we go. Oh. There we go. Because it's new, it's all... Stuck, but anyway you get the idea I have smaller ones that um, I have in my drawer I'm just grabbing another one hopefully this one no nope. goodness me when you want something you can't find it can you uh, doesn't matter um here we go so you could slide in your post-it notes like that that would look cute all right, so we've also got the bigger pocket here. I think they call that a secretarial pocket. And look at this. It's got the gold hardware. I mean, rose gold hardware. Oh, that is what sold it to me. And then check this out. We have rose gold rings. Oh, my goodness. So, so pretty. I don't want to tear that out right now, but look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? And I'm just going to cut this off. So it's got the little plastic strap. There you go, to keep it all safe. And look at this gorgeous pink. I mean, is this not the most gorgeous pink you've ever seen? So I love the dividers. I don't even think I'm going to change them out. I think I love them that much. And I want to see what the new inserts look like. Oh, that's a bit stained. But there's your... Um, can't even think of the name so it's basically so when you write things don't go through onto your paper page protector I guess it's called but I haven't seen any Kiki K inserts since all the changes were made and they started using different paper the first thing I feel immediately is that the paper is definitely a thicker quality than what it was a few years ago when I bought my last planner I like the monthly view that they've got there. That is really nice. And I like that it's undated so I can use it anytime. <gasps> Ooh. And I've never seen this layout before from Kiki K. Mine was the old ones because, like I said, I haven't bought a planner for years. Oh, I like this vertical layout. So you've got notes. And then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Wow. That is cool. And again, undated. And the paper feels really good quality. I like that. Wow, they've really improved things. Okay, then we've got some lined note paper in the next section. And the dividers look like they're all the same. I forgot to check those, sorry. So they're all exactly the same. They're the same little icons that were on the front of the planner in the rose gold foiling, but they're now on white with a pink background. This next section is lined paper again, which is great. You can never have too much lined paper. 
And next section is lined as well. Ooh! And then we've got a grid paper at the back. That's handy. Ooh, I like that. And then the lucky last section. Oh, we've got blank paper. That's great. I love this. Oh, look. And in the back, we've got a notepad as well, which is lined. And that paper quality feels beautiful and thick as well. Oh, beautiful. And I like how they've done the material here on the back in the beautiful grey with the, I guess, checker sort of pattern with the Kiki K uh, logo on there. I like that. Wow. This is a really nice planner. And this is one of the first ones I've had, which has the new clip format. So as you know, I've got, if you're following along on Stationery Happiness on Instagram, you'll know that I have these older style planners and they only have the one clip and it's a thin strap. And all of mine are like that. But this newer one, look, you've got the much thicker strap here, but you've got two options. So when your planner starts off and there's not many stickers in there, you can use that first button. And when it starts bulking up with lots of stickers, lots of things, look how much extra room that gives you. Wow, that is so good. Oh, wow. I just want to say a huge thank you to my sister for the Kiki K gift card she gave me for Christmas. It means so much to me that she gave that to me and it has allowed me to add this gorgeous planner to my collection. Thank you so, so much. And then I, of course, purchased a few extra little things. Why not? When they're having a sale. If you have enjoyed this Kiki K unboxing, please give my video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below which your favorite item was out of all the goodies that I got today. And let me also know in the comments below what your thoughts are about Kiki K going into administration. I personally hope that they find another company to take them over. I have loved Kiki K for years. I think they are such a beautiful stationery store and it would be really sad to see them go. So fingers crossed they can find somebody who will take over the business and keep it running for all us stationery and planner lovers. All right, if you do want to see how I end up using these gorgeous planner goodies and if you want to see lots of other planner-related happy mail pictures and planner spreads and all sorts of Stationery related, related things, make sure that you do pop on over to my Instagram page, which is Stationery Happiness, and follow me over there. And I cannot wait to show you my next video, which will be coming up in the next few days because there's more happy mail arriving. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. Bye bye.